for uh, those of you who we haven't met before. This is kind of our speaker lineup. Uh, you see a younger picture of myself from Ireland. Uh, one of my favorite pictures. I still use it. Um, running marketing here at uh, Salona. I've uh, been with the company for the last two years. Actually, uh, as Tom mentioned, the first ever event that we did was a Mobility Field Day 4. Uh, Puneet leads our product management efforts, uh, recently joined a team from another familiar name to you, probably from Nianza, from VMware Nianza team. Um, great to have him guide the roadmap uh, for the entire product line. Mark Jimenez recently joined us as well, leading a variety of different technical marketing activities. He's gonna be on the screen, under stress, trying to get a couple of demos going for you guys, show you the technology in action. Um, and JR, who unfortunately, he couldn't join us today, but he was kind enough to record his demonstration, which we will be playing playing via video uh, towards the end of the presentation. So uh, as mentioned, we launched the company during MFD4. If you wanna hear the stories from two years ago and see how we're keeping up with uh, with the ideas there, you can go to salona.io slash MFD4. Similarly, last year, we actually launched our product portfolio, our solution um, at MFD5 a year after that. And uh, there's lots of demos, lots of technical deep dive discussions led by uh, another one of our uh, ghost speakers on the show, Andrew Bonnaj, who is also on the line, um, hoping to answer some tough questions from the delegates. So at MFT5, we show you the product to a certain extent, uh, but I'm hoping that we can dive a little bit deeper and show you what's really happening behind the scenes with the overall solution. So I just wanted to kind of create this picture, bit of a simplified network diagram. Uh, what are we dealing with here? We're dealing with uh, the things in blue, Salona access points, they're deployed indoors and outdoors. Instead of Wi-Fi, they use LTE, 4G LTE technology today on the CBRS spectrum. CBRS is another way of saying it's the private spectrum that FCC assigned for enterprise to use LTE and 5G cellular wireless technology. Enterprise don't have to pay high licensing fees to anyone. They don't need to get permission from anyone. All they need is an infrastructure like Salona to install their access points. We're gonna dive into a little bit deeper about how, what are the use cases can be, et cetera. But essentially it's an access point system that integrates with your existing local area network, uh, runs your existing switches, your existing IP subnets, VLANs, et cetera. Supports devices that natively support uh, private LTE and private 5G connectivity or relies on gateways, routers with a Solana SIM inside to actually get connected. That wireless traffic traverses your existing enterprise environment, uh, existing enterprise firewall switching routing infrastructure, and gets terminated and decrypted and uncrypt, unencrypted uh, using Salona Edge, which is where traditional 4G, 5G mobile core functions run, along with a variety of different enterprise network services unique to Salona. We're gonna talk about how that Salona Edge can be deployed in a variety of different environments, different compute environments in Puneet's upcoming section and during Mark's demo, but it's designed to, to be deployed as close to critical applications as you like. And this entire uh, system, the SIM cards, provisioning, access points, Salona Edge, the mobile core, interaction with the CBRS systems for frequency allocation, they're all managed by Salona Orchestrator. Now, um, for to as a preview to some of the things that uh, Puneet, Mark, and JR will touch upon, I think this infrastructure lives next to any Wi-Fi system you have, right? We talked to a lot of enterprise customers since we launched the company, since we launched our product line. And what they're telling us is, hey, I am already using Wi-Fi for eight applications, but these two that are coming up, new applications, new IoT infrastructure, new mobile devices, we would like to give them an express lane of communication. You know, we want them to run on a clean spectrum, heavily coordinated clean spectrum. We want them to have a specific set of SLAs, 
service levels assigned to each application. You know, we like QoS, but we also want throughput guarantees, latency guarantees, packet error rate guarantees. And we would like that infrastructure to look and feel like a Wi-Fi system, sit next to the Wi-Fi infrastructure, runs on our existing network, interfaces with our enterprise policies. So I think that's what we've done. Uh, that's what we've built. We're gonna unwrap the onion a little bit step by step and show you initially how we deploy um, our mobile core services with Solana Edge. Then we're gonna move on to showing you how you can onboard devices to a Solana network, primarily with the embedded SIM, eSIM technology. And then JR's video overall demo is gonna show us how we can guarantee application throughput and performance across the, across the infrastructure. All right, so that's the quick Solana introduction. Again, we do have a lot of material from past MFT events. And one of the topics that we talked about at a very high level during, I think our very first session is, you know, we're approaching um, as a young company, we're approaching this with a fresh new look, right? We're looking at what type of network infrastructure should we build? Uh, we're taking into account what's happening in the cloud and telco space, which you're hopefully gonna capture in this presentation. We focus on wire-like reliability on wireless. Can we push the envelope a little bit more? We all come from Wi-Fi industry from our past lives, and we're, we fell in love with wireless and mobility infrastructures and what it means for businesses, so we're trying to push the needle there. Um, as you will tell, we like making a lot of things cloud native, right? A lot of the network services we believe could be deployed as microservices, which Puneet is gonna dive into a lot more. And, you know, it's a journey, uh, but we're at the start of that journey in making a lot of things automated in network infrastructure rollouts, dimensioning, optimization, user and app experiences. It's a heavily used term, AI powered operations. I mean, we're two years old. We have a limited set of customers right now but that's the journey we're on. In the upcoming years, you're probably gonna see us talk a lot more about that uh, as our data set and our intelligence increases. So um, what's top of mind in this session? We're gonna ask the question, can we treat campus networks as software? So Puneet is gonna dive into that. We're gonna ask the question, can we bridge private and public cellular a little bit closer to each other? And then lastly, we're gonna ask, can we guarantee performance for applications in the enterprise on enterprise wireless.